Hello, YouTube. I guess it started on me. Sometimes this Hangout system is a little slow on my computer, even though it's a terabyte computer, which is immaterial <laughs> for you guys that care less about this. This today is a review on something that Pipecat sent me, I received yesterday. I, in the past, never have, everybody knows that, that's watched me and, and kept track of me or anything about me, find that I kind of an aromatic type of a guy, and that's all I've been spoken. I didn't know much about English blends or different types of blends out there until I started going through you YouTubers and, and pipe community club community about Englishes, Balkans, um, I can won't get into Turkish type tobaccos and all that stuff. And I didn't know how to distinguish the difference between them and that type of stuff. So through all this conversation Pipecat was nice enough to send me a package that I did a VR on yesterday, which I, here again, I will say it real quick. Thank you, Pipecat. I sure appreciate it. Uh, like I said, you get some things that, that's a blessing in such a disguise that I don't know what it means to me. But let's get on to the review of, of one of the tobaccos. He sent me um, a tin of John Cotton's number three. Um, don't know much about it. Haven't ever smoked it. I guess up here where people can see it well. And like I said, I don't know how to date it, but I get it. This is me back that it has never been cellared. It's, it's a brand new pen. So open it up, chooch away on it, as, as he put it. And I'm going to. I'm going to pack a bowl on this and see how fast I can pack a bowl on this because I haven't packed one up yet. I haven't. Now, I did break the seal on it and what came out of it, even when the seal broke, about blew my mind. Um, in further video, I might just explain that. But this is something I, that I'm just going to open today and do the inhale and let everybody and then quickly, quickly pack a bowl and give you my review my opinion of because i already cracked the seal on this like i said and what came out of it i haven't really opened this yet and it's loose enough that it will open here we go still like i said everything's there and it is it is a looks like to me a short ribbon cut not a long ribbon cut as i can see right now and boy I'm not sure what, how to describe that, the smell that's coming out of there, but it says Orientals, Latakia, and Perique, and, Vir and Virginians, I, Virginians, Orientals, uh, Latakia, and Perique. Okay, now, like I was explaining to, to Pipe Cat, I might had, have had or have one, if I'm lucky, two that I've ever dealt with. So, in my green, as I want to put it, stage of all of this, not knowing one tobacco from another that well, this smell is very, 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 very familiar to me. Holy mackerel, that is very familiar to me. It's a smell that, truthfully, for some of us, it's going to be an acquired um, to get used to type smell. Not that I'm saying it's a bad smell. Don't take me wrong. I I like it. But the chemical type, and I'm going to say it in my opinion, because I got to say this, because everybody's opinion, excuse me, everybody's opinions are different on this particular stuff. Um, like I said, very green on tobacco side, just I am really getting into the learning of different tobaccos and I haven't, like I said, have not smoked any true hard Englishes and I, and this is an English 
this is something that I've been wanting to try. And boy, that is packed in there for a 1.75 ounces of. Well, you're going to have to pick at it to break it up a little bit. What's your content? As far as I can tell you, really, there's not a lot of moisture content tint to this. This is. So I might personally might rehydrate it just a little bit with one of my uh, blimpifiers, my Zeppelins, when I when I sell it, because I am going to sell it this one. I'm not going to leave it in the tin. I'll, I'll keep the tin, don't get me wrong, but I'm not going to, I'm going to put this in my little cellar jar. Uh, but that's pretty dry, right out of the container. And I'm not saying that's a bad thing. But that is a real short or, or ready rub, if you want to call it, uh, short ribbon, whatever you want to call it. But let's get on with this. It smells excellent. And I don't know if it's the Preak, the Latakia, the. I know it's not the Virginian because I've had enough Virginia. Because I use Virginia to mix with some of my herbs and what we call um, essential oils and that type of thing. They have been experimenting with some essential oils that are okay to, to smoke. I mean, I'm very careful about that because I don't want anybody to think you can just grab something and say, well, I think this sounds good and just start mix it in with some of your tobaccos. No. no I use red Virginias and, and straight, straight Virginias do do some of that mixing with because I like to experiment with, with my aromatics and that's the reason why I'm saying I used um, use some herbs and, and maybe a little bit of oils of and, and if you get the and I'm gonna and I know I shouldn't say this on, on but the doTERRA oils and that type of thing, the, the essential oils, you it only takes a drop or two in your however much you're you're mixing up to make your blend of what you want. Because this is on that part of it, it's just an experimental thing. For, and like I said, I'm very careful in reading and, and making sure that. The disclaimers and all that stuff on that it's safe product but i do not do and i will say this out there and i know i've said it before about different stuffs out there i the 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 hemp let's let's get into this the hemp uh, the um those type of stuff the let's just say it marijuana type stuff i refuse on that to use any of that so i'm not Talking about that, I'm experimenting with anything like that, and I just lost my little <laughs> amazing. Well, hopefully, I won't be letting it dry out too bad here. I like to keep all the moisture in it that I can that's supposed to be there. Wow, you know, like poof, thin air. You heard that expression. <laughs> And sorry to take up this time because I want to get right to this here again. Here I go saying I want to get off here as quickly as possible because I don't want to waste anybody's time on this. Well, I'll have to look for it later, folks. I'm going to close the tin up just the way it is. There it is. Just right there. I want to. Sorry for this. I definitely want to put the little cover back in there for the time being until I get where I can get this cellar. But there again, Pipe Cat, thank you, thank you. This is a, a treat for me to try. What I'm, what I'm smoking this in is one of my little briars that, um, that I got online. They came in a pack of three. They were unfinished. This is the one that I've had discussions with before. Uh, it's still got a good draw to it and still got a good packed bowl. And that I finished out myself, did the high polish on it. And that's what we were discussing, and that it's a purple one through pipe cap, cat and I that 
doing the reviews on this. And I'm going to light this with a match for the simple fact I don't want any other flavors. Hopefully the match will do what I want it to. I don't have a good striker, so I'm using a lighter to light the match and then, and then light the tobacco. Yeah, I know I'll have to probably do this a couple times. As we all know how that works. And I apologize for taking up everybody's time on doing this, but I want to give an honest review on, on this, on what it tastes like to me. And usually matches as far as I am concerned is give the better indication of what the flavor comes out of, of the tobacco. You don't get any of the butane or the um, Zippo fluid. Okay, there we go. Yeah, that's good and lit. And this stuff, like I said, out of that particular tin, I do not know. Like I said, I, I'm very green on this, and, I, and especially on this particular John Cotton's. I don't know much about them at all. I'm going to have to do a little bit of research on online about them. And the history of where it came from, it says it's a a group, Lane, Lane Limited Group, Scandinavian Tobacco Company made in the USA. So, and it's manufacturing license under Standard Tobacco Company made in the USA by Scandinavian Tobacco Company, Lane Limited, Tucker, Georgia. So, there's all the particulars on it. <laughs> And that's staying lit really, really nicely. So I may not over soak one of my humidifiers when I put it in my cellar jar. Now I do that to all of them just to keep them from, because I don't smoke all of them all the time. And I've got so many stupid aromatics, and I say that in, in a good way, not in a bad way, that I have to put little humidifiers in them. And that's what's gotten me in trouble on some of my videos. I'm trying to smoke a pipe and keep it lit. And then, then the tobacco is a little bit too wet. So it takes a little bit of time. I should have gave it a little bit of air time to dry before I started smoking it online. But we all know how that goes. We all know what lighters are for. We all understand that. <laughs> and it's something that's, that the Sarge was saying also today. You know, that's a part of smoking. That's part of the enjoyable part. Packing your bowl, doing what I did right there, tamping it down with my finger. and Awesome. I agreed with him on that big time. That's the pleasure of this. It's the routine you go through to, to do this. That's the relaxing part of it, really, for me, not just the, the, the smoking part of it. Now, I'm getting a smell and a taste already off that after the first few draws off that, after I got past the wood burning of the match. And then, obviously, like I've always said before, I try to do this, and then my my um my pipe goes out. I never failed on this end of it. But face it, guys. That's only my third light, so, and boy, I think that's going to go now. <laughs> but I'm going to have to get some help from some of you YouTubers out there also. The uh, reason why I'm saying that, because I don't understand some of the flavors, the definitions, and how to explain to a newbie or a person that just like me, I don't know. That's the reason why I ask for you, Pipe Club members, our family here, for advice. 
I don't know what true Latakia tastes like. I don't know what true Perique tastes like. Um, and and uh, and then the other one was the, the Oriental. I don't know the, how to distinguish between the flavors. Please bear with me on this. I'm, I'm green in that part of it. And I'm getting the, to me, since I've been smoking aromatics so much that I don't know how to distinguish what that smell is or how to describe it other than this. I got a spicy, peppery, chemical, put it in that aspect, rubber. Now, forgive me for saying it that way, but that's what it reminds me of because I've been around some places where they've had uh, people uh, tire dumps as they call them and then by chance the tire dump caught on fire and then it burns I actually got one that was so many miles away from our, our from Billings here in Montana another place where they used it for they they were making things out of the tires and they had a huge tire dump and everything there and it caught on fire and it burnt for years believe it or not they could not get that stuff put out. I don't know if they finally just buried it, but I have known of tire dumps that have burnt for years while it was even buried, smolder underneath the ground. And then, like I said, here's a learning process. It's gone out again. And please, folks, bear with me. But but with all that being said, in the way I was saying it, I'm not saying anything bad. That's just what I get from it. Smell, not the flavor. Let me put it out there that way. The smell, not the flavor. Well, it sure puts off a lot of smoke when you first light it up. And that's something else. You don't get a lot, a tremendous amount of, what I want to say, smoke off of most of the aromatics. Now, some you do, but not most of them. That's what I'm saying. I, I, I'm accustomed to more aromatics than I am anything. I think this time I got a good light on it. So I'm getting the... I'm getting to it's starting to burn down just a little bit quicker. So I'm getting a little bit different smell out of it, a little bit different taste out of it. But through you YouTubers with my review of this, I actually like this stuff. I don't know how my wife is going to like it when she comes home if I don't sanitize my room before I, because like I said, I got the ozone chilling spray that I that I use. It's actually an automotive product that that's fantastic. I also have another product that we're not going to get into. Uh, stay away from that stuff. Let's just talk about what we're supposed to be here talking about. Because like you said, you guys are learning that I ramble just a slight amount. And it's going okay now. Not a tremendous amount of tongue bite. Yeah, when I, I was chooching on it there a little bit to try to keep it burning and, and get it going, I got a little bit of the tongue sting out of it. But nothing bad. Right now. Even out of the retro inhale through my nose. I don't get any burn through my nose and I don't retro hell inhale hardly at all it's just only like this it's just one time and i probably won't do it i might do it one more time just to, just to compare the two as it as the bowl's burning down and 
just to get a little bit different perspective on on the flavors that are coming out of this. Like I said, new to a lot of different tobaccos out there. The Virginias, yeah, I understand them. I've smoked reds. I've smoked re what I call regular straight blonde Virginias. And there again, we go back to Stutlift. That I love their products. I love their red. I love their, you know, uh, McClellan's, which is no longer, you can't get it. The most favorite that I that I ever had for um, mixing because I do like to meld my flavors together when I, and I've got only did three I think it's three that I've done that I enjoy but this is a review on this stuff here so if anybody's out there listening and uh, and or or going to be watching my review and get through my review. Like I said, this is back on John Cotton's number three English tobacco. Like I said, Virginia Oriental Latakia and Perique. I haven't heard any too many people's review on it. I'm gonna get on some of the later today. Get on or after I get off here, get on to some of the uh, smoking pipes website, pipes magazine, those places that review tobaccos and stuff, tobacco reviews, whoever out there, and see what people are saying about it. But I appreciate Pipe Cat sending this to me as a favor to me. Uh, so I could try some English because him and I discussed back and forth and and I wasn't expecting him to send me anything, but he PM'd me and said, hey, I got a package coming and I about free. You know, that's going back to what I was saying about this YouTube community and the pipe club. We take care of each one, one of each other and I love it. Got another gentleman that I'd love to shout out, Law and Smoke. He sent me a little message. And he said he wanted to do something for me also. And I'm like, the kindness of this community is. <laughs> and I rambled a little bit too long there, folks. <laughs> so I know you learned that about me and I'm laughing at myself along with you guys laughing at me. Oh, the dumb idiot. You let it go out again. <laughs> but there again, like we say, that's what matches and that's what pipe lighters are for. And I did that just to get a different perspective on it real quick. Zippo fluid has a can give off a flavor depending on a tobacco. And holy smoke. <laughs> that stuff puts off some smoke. The smell to me is not bad at all. I kind of appreciate the smell. Like I said, my wife is kind of, yeah. She'd rather I not be smoking. She'd rather she doesn't want me smoking in the house. But when you're like this morning, we were below zero again here. And right now we're at only 12 degrees. It's kind of hard to stand out there when I don't have. And the wind chill factor makes it colder because the wind is blowing out there somewhat. Um, I can't because I don't have any place to sit down. Any, I don't have anything fixed up whatsoever for me to be doing this outside. And I like an occasional bowl. Here the last few days, last week or two, yeah, I've been smoking a little bit more than I ever should be in my lifetime. But that's either here or there. We don't need to get an X. We all know the if, ands, or buts. It's drawn really well. I got a little bit looser than I was expecting, but I didn't want too tight of a draw my first bowl. To but the flavors, I, I apologize for not knowing my educational part uh, and my definitions of the taste of even Cavendish's 
which I know there's a lot of them that I've had that have been mixed with Cavendish a little bit of, because uh, a lot of the uh, aromatics have those in them also. Cherry blends and that type of stuff. And I still don't know how to extinguish, extinguish or determine the, the difference in the flavors. All I can do is tell you if it does taste like what they advertise it is or if they don't. That's the best thing. And most of the stuff that I've been getting is aromatics, which you know what brand that is. Um, I, I, they, they, the flavors have been there of the toppings I'm talking about, what they add with it. But everybody that I've ever, ever talked to through some of the, the um, places that I've dealt with tell me Virginia's and some cabin dishes are used for virtually a lot of the mixing. And then people then go to your Latakias, your Orientals, your Pariks and stuff to add with it. There again, I have not smoked them separately to know. So, uh, but with all this being said, my review of it as of right now, I would suggest it to anybody. I mean, no, it is not going to be an everyday smoker because I, I do want to savor it and occasionally down, you know, every once in a while have a bowl of it. So I can, because I know for, for me, yeah, it's going to take me a little bit of time, but I go through an ounce if I'm smoking every day, not too long because I have my, my favorites. <laughs> Even though I, I I like them all, but you, but everybody we know how it is. You you have your favorites, the ones that you go to most every day. But there is a point that hey, you want to try something different. But as some of us have said in our past videos, we don't need to have five hundred different tobaccos around. We have our few that we like, and we learn what we like pretty quick in this. Yeah, we want to review, we want to taste, we want to, that's the reason why they offer them in the, in the um, amounts that they do. So you can buy a smaller amount. If you like it, order a bunch more. Or if you're like some of us out here and that we've been discussing this here lately, is that you, you find a tobacco that you like and then McClellan's, Dunhill, and and a few of those out there, then they discontinue them or they go out of business. You go, wow, I should have bought a couple pounds of them. But how do you know that until you try them? I mean, there is how many billions of people on this earth, billions upon trillions upon how many people on this earth? We have now we can all have similar tastes. We also all have different tastes. So that's the reason why the business is out there. That's the reason why there's how many different types of tobacco. But once you get to that basic point, you figured it out, you know what you like, and you find other tobaccos that are similar or they're different, but you still like those too. Obviously. That's what you're going to buy more of than anything else. You'll keep an occasional one around um, to, to smoke on an occasion just to change things up. Because you because look, look at this. I'm an American, an American. I got to put it that way. I've been American. I didn't come. I don't know where my roots come from, what part of the world they came from before they came here. There's been all kinds of rumors and whatnot and hearsay and and most of my dad's side of the family my mom's side of the family can't tell me where we where any of us on either side of the family really originally came from what continent all i can tell you that i was born i won't say how long ago everybody knows but i won't say how long because i am an old fart but um but why i'm saying that is i'm a true bred heinz 57 American. And the reason why I say it that way, because I don't know where, where our nationality origin, originated from. God made me, I'm here. So, 
So I like a lot of different flavors from, like the Sarge said, the Italian side of it. I love true, honest to God, not this Americanized. Even though I love Americanized, there's some good stuff out there, but it's, it is what it is. From virtually anything out there in the world that's made, unless it's just pure disgusting. And I don't know how to explain that where people would understand what I mean by that. Because there's a lot of all kinds of things that sound strange, but yet they're edible and they're good. So with that being said, it's the same way in the tobacco world. So you learn, I've got the aromatic side. I'm dabbling into the um, little bit of the trying to figure out maybe some Turkish. I've got some, I did come up with some Turkish stuff that I didn't realize that it was Turkish until after the fact that showed up and it was so stinking expensive and then find out it wasn't a true pipe tobacco. It was, anyway, we won't get into that either. So I got a little bit of that more than I want, but I'll use it or I'll pass it on or I will, whatever the case may be, you know, pay it forward, pass it on, whatever. But with all that being said, in the tobacco part of it, I don't need a whole mess of, I thought in the beginning of all this, yes, I did, but you come to learn, we all want to try something. Try a flavor. Let me get you that. It's like when the first time probably a lot of us thought about sushi, raw fish, or sashimi, however you want to, sashimi, however you say that. True, true side of it. I don't mean the Americanized side of it. Here we go again. I love a lot of Tex-Mex type food too. I'm just throwing that out there. But when you, when you first heard that, you go, hmm, do I really want to? And then you think about it and then you go out with somebody that's, that does like it and they say, well, just try it. If you don't like it, don't, don't eat any more of it. Plain and simple. So that's the reason why I go back to, that's the reason why they make these, these sizes or smaller or larger, four ounces, eight ounces, 12 ounces, a pound. I mean, you can get 80 ounces of some of this stuff. So it's, it's amazing how much you can get out there, depending on what country you come from, excuse me. Because import taxes and export taxes and whatever taxes that our governments across the world handle us with, that they've got to make their money off of it. Because it wouldn't be fair to them if they didn't get their share. Anyway, let's get off that high horse. So that's what it's all out here. And it's all about for us to try. Turn that the right direction. Sorry, folks. That's the reason why it's out there to try. Get the smaller ones. Us YouTubers, we hear somebody that's saying, oh, I'd like to try that. You know, I, I haven't tried that before. When I get around to where I can get to it, and or if I have the finances to it, I'll, I'll order an ounce or a 10 or whatever of it and, and try it. If you don't like it, you can pass on to somebody else and if they don't like it they can pass on or if they do like it they can burn it up smoke it up that's what it's all about keep your pipes lit lit as they say and matches and a bunch of you out there saying keep your matches dry and as old bird says keep on a choochin i love that if i'm a choocher sometimes i'll be sitting here screwing around watching videos and stuff and i find out my pipe's getting a little warm and my hand's starting to burn a little bit and I have to stop because, because it's, ooh, I'm chooching too hard. But that's what we're all here for. Enjoy our it is easy and our, like me, my rambling. <laughs> so with that being said, I like this stuff. I thank you, Pipe Cat. I really do like it. If I can learn how to keep my pipe lit correctly, because I don't have it packed too tight or too loose. So, in you YouTube community or anybody out there that, that happens to bump across my video, if you can tell me how to distinguish what I call the, the beef, the chicken, the pork, 
the fish. And I'm using those as haha examples of how to tell the difference in these flavors. Please let me know. Because I'm enjoying this. But I do not know how to tell this YouTube world. If it's the Latakia, or if it's the Preak, or if it's the Oriental, or even the Virginia. I don't know which one to tell you which sticks out like a sore thumb. All I know is it's got a little bit of a peppery, slight peppery bite. I mean, really super slight peppery bite. Got just a little bit of a, now I'm talking about on the tongue, but on the smell side, I get that little bit of a, like I said, rubber, and I hate to say that rubber chemical smell, which is not a bad thing. So with all this being said, there again, go back to, Pipe cat, I told him I was going to you'd probably give him the next few days more thank yous and everything. Like I said, he happened to be a um, marriage counselor. <laughs> if we want to kind of put it. He helped me out with what he sent me, which was a let me put it out there. Pipe cat. That was a coincidence. That what you sent me, I understand that because you had no idea. You, you knew I liked it, the aromatics. Yes. And, you, and I may have discussed it where you knew that which ones I did like or not like. I don't know. But like I was telling the rest of the community in my last video, please watch my last video, my VR to Pipecat also. And you'll understand what I'm getting at today of this review of this tobacco. He did something that meant something to me in, 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 in terms that I don't know how to put it. It saved a little bit of hassle in my life for a few weeks or a month or you know who knows but it was very special to me and that's that's the review of this also today it was a thanks that he gave this to me and I wanted to review it on online now I've got some um, lane 1q that he sent me that everybody has talked about everybody has raved about there's only been a small handful of people that I've that said, ah, they just don't care for it. I'll probably this afternoon or tomorrow, I don't know which, just all depends on how I feel because I don't, generally speaking, if I smoke two bowls in a day, that's a miracle. I'm not even, I usually don't even smoke one bowl a day, just ever so many days a week. But like I said, here lately, I've smoked more than I've ever thought I would, would smoke. And here we go again. Like I said, if anybody can teach me, please do. Oh, I grabbed the wrong one. I'm not trying to. Well, then I lose things. So that's neither here nor there. I'll I'll find it because I know I, I had it just a few minutes ago. And I'll. Heh, here we go again. My ha ha side. Let me get off here for you folks. Oh my God, here he goes again. My most favorite tamper that I, and it's one of my handmade tampers. I love it. And then I lose it. Where I put it, couldn't tell you. <laughs> here goes my dumbness here, folks. I apologize. But <laughs> right in front of my face, folks. <laughs> That's the funny haha -ha about all this. Right in front of my face. Right there. Just have to look past my eyeballs. But with all this being said, I'm going to light one more time. And I'm going to, like I said, I'm going to steal one from every, for a few from everybody and say, keep your pipes lit and your bowls full and your matches dry and keep on a chooching. I hope that covers enough of you. I mean, a lot of you say different things. And I, my biggest thing is God bless you. Everybody knows that when I sign off or, or write off on, on, my comments and stuff that's heartfelt 
that's not just something I say every time. That's that's meant. That's got a meaning, meaningful meaning to all of you. So please understand that. And you guys have a good day. And when I can get back on here again and do a review of the, the lane, I will. Um, so like I said, once I get through this bowl, I, I'll let my system clear out a little bit before I want to do another review on a different one. Because, you know, your taste buds, you, that's why they make ice cream throughout the century of the rich folks that ate a little, little bit of different ice creams between horses so they can clean their palate, as they say, so they go on to the next and taste it. That's what I kind of do, clean pipes. So with that being said, I'll let you guys go. Like, why I can't keep this lit? Nothing against the tobacco. It's me. Somehow it's me. <laughs> so thank you, everyone. Appreciate it. Thanks again, Pipe Cat. Love you. Love all of you. And have a good afternoon. <laughs>